I do. Mm-hmm. In the post podcast, baby. Yeah,
uh, Club Paradise, going crazy. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I heard that that joint be like Way Liddy again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, downtown really the place to be this this weekend. But I will tell you, like. Be prepared, bro. To come out your pocket. Yeah, be prepared. And to fight your way out and, of that traffic. But then, but then, yeah, because the traffic be above. But then the whole thing that I don't like, bro, is like, I ain't going to hold you. Like, I ain't really hating on shit. I don't want people to do what they got to do. You feel me? Like, that's all good. You, do, you know what I mean? But, man, come on, bro. Like, when, last time All-Star Weekend was here, bro, I was a little baby, bro. It was yeah. like 97. 97. You feel me? So it looked different when I come into the jam session. I see, I see Charles Barkley and shit. I see, you know what I'm saying, Michael Jordan. I'm like, damn, you feel me? But now it's like I don't know if I'm gonna be up in there seeing LeBron or or, or, or even Quavo, oh, Gunner, in one them of, days, one of them. In them days, stars could really be around people in in certain places like downtown Cleveland. It'd be all right today. This day and age, mm, that's a hazard to yourself. But 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 that's the thing. But ain't nothing happened last night. Last night the city looked marvelous, bro. The city looked marvelous, bro. On television for the a celebrity game, as well as for the rising stars, and as well as they shot the um that that a that AI versus T Mac highlight yeah. battle. Yeah. It was somewhere in Cleveland. It was like on the west side, I think, like Gordon Center or something yeah, like that. Yeah, the Gordon Center. Um, that's that's love right there. You feel yeah. me? Like. I feel like at this point, man, Cleveland, like, people just need to just focus on supporting your city if you're from the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I see a lot of people only support the city when the city is popping. That is, uh, that is just, it, it's sad in it's me. You feel me? Like, I see a chick that's talking about, she is from motherfucking, the uh, from motherfucking Cleveland. And I'm like... Where? When? Oh, the Lions had some uh, out of towners out there. Oh, it's out of towners all flying around. They, 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 they sprinkle everywhere. Oh, yeah, they're right. Because, you know what I'm saying? It's really, if you didn't intend to spend a lot of money and you're out of towner, there's a lot of stuff to do that don't necessarily have to be downtown Cleveland. And you still can come here and have an a all star weekend. So, 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 all right, so that, would that be a, would that be a say what you just said, right? I want to figure out what's the temperature on the beginning of the show. Is we going? Is we just gonna say fuck the Super Bowl last Sunday? Is we just gonna say fuck that shit? Mm. Or if, or is we just gonna talk about it later on in the show? Like I just want to know before we really get into it. Because once we get to Friday night, we already get into Friday night. Then I want to try to, I'm gonna revisit Saturday night again. Which is now Sunday night. We already is. It is what it is. We team Brian. Like it ain't really no. Like, we'll, we'll discuss how it looked next week. Yeah. But as far as right here, right now, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I really got some... The, the All-Star is most really popular, so we can get the other stuff out the way. But I do feel some type of way that I got some stuff to say about the Super Bowl stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so is the Super Bowl stuff more important than this All-Star game? That's all I'm asking you. Like, this, you can be honest, though. On the, on the fact honest, that though. it's in Cleveland, no. Okay. All right, so first things first, man. Motherfucker celebrity game. Mm-hmm. All right, let's hit the head off of this shit. And it's a little troll to hit 2K Final Lobos, nigga. But, um, Bib. Bib, the fuck up with the snow removal. He out here, he out here embarrassing himself. Man, come on, bro. Like, you out here looking ugly, bro. You out here looking silly, bro. Like, you out here looking silly. Like, real talk. Like, Miles Garrett was the highlight as far as Cleveland's concerned. Booby gets it. But shout out to Verge, y'all, matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even about to keep. I ain't even about to keep. I ain't even about to keep talking about Booby. Shout out. Because Booby. The wild thing. My nigga. Booby, man. I understand why you quit. Niggas talk about uh, Keish Cole. No, it ain't Keish Cole, bruh. You, you had one good year. Your trash root. You, it's subpar. You're not that good. You okay, though. You can rap a little bit. You can sing a little songs and stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? Shoot some threes. You feel me? You ain't really that good, bro. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Booby Gibson ain't that good. Like, I would just watch a celebrity game. And I know it's a celebrity game. It's a celebrity game. So, regularly, in celebrity games, WNBA players, retired NBA players, kind of get their shit off a little bit. Yeah. Booby gets it look like pure garbage out there. Mm. Like, MGK, you was doing your damn thing. Shout out to MGK. 
You know, Jake, y'all, you already know Jake Carlo, Quavo, yeah. they can hoop. Yeah. You feel me? Tiffany Haddish, I, I fuck with Tiffany Haddish. I ain't gonna lie, she's hilarious. The, she is hilarious to me. I, I just don't know, like, I know off of the basketball tip, she's hilarious to me. I just like, I just like the woman, man. She's hilarious. I like her. Just ratchet, call her what you want. So we had highlights and lowlights. The I mean, lowlight was big. Mm -hmm. Man, they could have long gone ahead. Y'all should have gone ahead and let Bashir do that. When, when that boy Bill took shot that jumper. Well, they should have let Bashir do that. I'm just like, man, this shit, this shit hilarious. I'm gonna have a heart. <laughs> I wish I was in the building, man. You know what? But see, this is the thing. This is the misconception. Dude, don't you know that tickets? Man, they could have got a ticket for the celebrity game or fucking seat geek. Would have been no. You would have been loud, Bill. Fifty. This is what you was gonna watch. You was gonna watch the monitor. Nigga, I'm in the building. Fuck the monitor, nigga. <laughs> like, fuck <laughs> watching that shit, nigga. I'm in the building. Nigga, I watch that shit from the concession stand. I don't give a fuck. Watch that shit from your park. Man, watch that shit from the bar, nigga. I'm in the building. Niggas don't give a fuck about that. Yeah. Especially with an all-star. Come yeah. on, bro. Like, come on, man. You know you ain't sitting next to no motherfucking, no motherfucking DeMar DeRozan, nigga, unless you spend it 1500 <laughs> You ain't sitting next to no DeMar DeRozan for no $30. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, nigga, I'll spend $300. I'm sitting next to DeMar DeRozan. Like, nigga, you nah, crazy, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, you're going to have to spend at least 500 5000 on him. Nigga, I don't know why you sitting next to him is if they just, he just showed up. And that was the only seat that nigga got. They gonna make some money. But see, that's the thing, though. But the the tickets for that was always kind of up and down. They never really was over 100. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they, but the tickets for tonight and it's tomorrow, shit. They're going in your pockets. You were that cute tonight, nigga. You were all, you were super soft. You were that cute tonight. If you get in that motherfucking Q Rocket Mortgage Field House, if you win that motherfucker the knife in the city, you the motherfucking man, bro. You the motherfucking man. You a baller in this city. I swear to God. Ain't, 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 ain't no cheap niggas in this motherfucker. Ain't no cheap niggas in the building. DJ Kelly, all the rappers, gunner, everybody in that motherfucker. That's it. That ain't going off. Yeah, ain't Don Rose performing or something? He performed last night, last night. at a little spot on the west side. Uh, what's the dude, Bubba? Uh, the comedian, he was here. He was in Thursday. I was hey, funny. He, he did two shows. I was funny. I, I would we'll hit today. I was gonna be there. Cause he, he hilarious. He hilarious. I, I fuck with him. All right, now we now we now we moving on. Rising stars challenge. Okay. Uh, this is the thing that I will say. As far as the young talent is concerned in the NBA, the NBA is really in good hands. We talk a lot about LeBron and Kevin Durant. A lot, you know what I'm saying, Joel and B, a lot of these players are like, even Jason Tatum on the, on the lower end, he, he get close to 10 years in the league, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, like, the, the players like Tyler, like Halliburton, Desmond Bain, our guys, Mowgli Okora, yeah. um, Josh Giddy yeah. for, for, the, for the Thunder, he, 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 he nice. Yes, he is nice. That He's nice. Right. It's, it is a lot of, it's a lot of players, that, and then the G League, and then the G League players that was in there too. As Jimmy I'm, players was doing their thing, too. You know what? On the side note, I keep D-League. It's been G-League for like the last five, four or five years. Yeah. They have been G-League for like five years. And they're giving, them, they're giving them a lot more yeah. shine. A but, whole lot more but shine. The, but the whole thing about the G-League is now is that by the time Bronny James, by the time Bronny James gets out of high school, he could go to the G League for a year before he yeah, got Yeah, it's one of the G League dudes who uh, he, yeah. just turned, he just turned 18. Yeah. Yeah, he played. So, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 a good little look. But, I mean, shout out to the shout out to the guys. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the guys. We was on Team, team Rick. Team Rick Berry. Shout for out sure. to Berry. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Doing their thing. It was really playing some deep. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell at the end of the day. Mello. LaBello, like, this This is why I think, like, LaBello ball. And Anthony Edwards should be in the All-Star game. Mm -hmm. LaBello Balls is in the All-Star game. So you see why LaBello Ball really was playing the way he was playing last night because he's in the All-Star game Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but Anthony Edwards and, Jam and, and Jam Murray for the Spurs, that is really, that is the tight one for me. 
they kind of have a, like similar seasons, but Javante Murray is like the head nigga over there, yeah. while Anthony Edwards, he, 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 he too, to, he too though, but he too, like you, everybody know Cat number one, he too. I, I really wish I would have seen a little bit more Anthony Edwards out there in the, in the Rise of Stars. That's why I just don't really like the format. And the reason why I don't like the format with the teams is because the way they set up the team, they try to make it competitive. But while they're making it competitive, a lot of players, they really, you don't really see the players that you really want to That's see. Like you want to just see highlights of. Like Anthony Edwards is one of the best in-game dunkers in the league. I, I would like to see I seen a couple more dunks yeah, yesterday. More, more you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's ever going to be in a dunk contest or anything like that, but, but that, that young guy, that young guy's amazing. That young guy's amazing, bro. That young guy's amazing. Oh, uh, <coughs> nigga. <laughs> okay. What was your best moment from last night? Um, I watched it at, at the bar. Yeah. So I really, you know, I really yeah, didn't. you know, you you big and all that, yeah. But um, the defense for real from from the very team, they was glass and niggas shit. Yeah. But it was they were running plays and everything. Yeah, and they was they was picking pockets too. Yeah, they yeah. was running plays. They was they was playing. They was playing. They was all star game defense. Ain't it, it only get defensive like that when it's a. <laughs> The superstars who who on competing teams and it's not just one. It's a couple of them trying. I'm trying to be the all star, the winner of this all star game. You know how they be fighting it out at the yeah. end. And niggas get the blocking shots. But this, but this, the, but this, but this what I'll tell you. But this is the funny thing about this year's all star game. The early prediction. It's gonna be more defensive. It's gonna be more defense play in this all star game than we probably see in the past ten years because of the players that are picked. You have a lot of young first timers in the All Star game. Yeah. It's not a lot of vets in the All Star game this year. You know what I'm saying? You still got Brian. You, you Giannis is a vet. Um, Joel and B. You feel me? But other than that, like just like JT, that's his, just like his second one, second yeah. third one. Um, John Moran is his first, first one. Man. Murray is his first one. Lamelo yeah. Ball his first one. Um, Darius Garland his yeah. first one. Um, Jared Allen his first one. Yeah, he's twenty seven. Yeah, you feel me? Like it's a lot of cats who who really get their first nod in this All Star game, which will make it a little bit more exciting when it when it gets down to it. And some of them stars, you know, they, they for real, you stars. When it's a lot of vet stars, you know, they kind of let people get off. They, they, yeah. eh, I'm gonna let you get because watch what because I'm gonna, I'm going to break back down yeah. so I can get my dunk off. So go ahead. But see, but, but see, this is this, this my, like, my highlight for the other day. I'm telling you, niggas, I told y'all niggas mm -hmm. last week when we, when we we had DJ call in, I'm saying, who go in that death contest. Jalen Green from the Houston Rockets will win the death contest tonight. He's winning that bitch. But what I see yesterday... That nigga winning that bitch. He a high flyer, and I and, and I know for a fact he a high flyer young nigga. The young niggas rock with him and shit. He go give him a show. Um, another cat who had some who had a nice little uh, had a nice little oop dunk last night. Cole Anthony from the Magic. Yeah. Look, he had the dunk contest too. He might do a little something something too though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going top in. Ridiculous boy, he's a top end. Really, everybody really talking top end, top end, top end, top end. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know about, I don't know if top going to win this. Because the Knicks, the Knicks is, 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 is honestly hands down the most disappointing team in the NBA right now. Yeah. Now, I can't really say, like, the Jerome Blazers has got to in the mix. That's a lot of injuries going on. Yeah, so it's so so you yeah, can't really so you, house. Yeah, so you can't really you can't really say okay, is this a I mean it is because you kind of think all right, you're gonna try to do something for day. Woo, 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 you feel me? But the Knicks is the most disappointing team right now in the NBA. They're most disappointing team. They went from fourth for the fourth for the East to possibly finishing. So what about the, what about the uh, Atlanta? Atlanta is still this Atlanta is still being a play in. They'll still be in the play in. Got they got aspirations of getting to that eighth seed. 
The Knicks ain't getting past the left seed. They're, they're in the 11 12th seed, bro. Yeah, it's done. It's done. And what I've seen Thursday, Thursday's game, I know we still talk about the All Star game, but Thursday's game, Knicks versus the Nets. The Nets have no Kyrie, no James Harden, no Ben Simmons, no Kevin Durant. None of those players played that game. You had Steph, Seth Curry, ball, balling, but you had Seth Curry and 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 and, and, and um and Kareem and Kareem Drummond and Kareem Abdul Jabbar Drummond. What the? Hell? <laughs> Man. <laughs> because listen, listen, the Knicks was up 23. Okay. They should have lost. They was up 23. They get they, they was up 23. The fourth quarter they lost the fourth quarter. 39 to 13. So what really? is going on? How are you up by 20 and you well, what is going on, bro? Like what is going on? Like like Thibodeau is about to get fired. He is about what, to get what, fired. Who said that? But he is about to get fired. It's been away to the end of the year. I don't think he was fired before the end of the year. But by the end of the year, first news is so before the playoffs start, he is getting fired. He's getting fired. That's one of the most disappointing. They're one of the most disappointing. You know what I'm saying? So one of the most disappointing. He's getting fired immediately as the, the last game of the regular season over. Yeah, he, he done. As soon as that game over. He done, man. They, they traded Cam Reddish. They don't even play for it. They, don't even, they, they, they traded draft picks for Cam Reddish. They don't play him. What is that about? You don't want to play these young players. For what? I was in 2K. For what? Like, all right, man. We, we, we best at all sorts shit. Man, this shit's stupid. Stupid, stupid shit. So that's what I'm saying. Topper ain't winning nothing. Knicks ain't winning nothing. Nate. All right, man. Let's break it. Let's, let's get into this shit now. Okay. Now, skills challenge tonight. The skills challenge. Giannis. 2022. Team Giannis. Team uh, Ignite. And I think, like, Team Cavs. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the middle team is. I know the Giannis brothers is all three of them. Yeah. Uh, we got the Cavs. We got Garland. We got uh, that, we got Garland, Mobley, and I think okay. Dallas instead yeah. of Saints. Oh, that's that. Yeah, and then uh, they got uh, the story. I think it's like K. No, it's um, it's um, it's it's, it's out of it's out of the coop. It's team out of the coop. The brothers. Team Cleveland. And, and the rookies, Scotty Barnes, um, K. Cunningham, Josh Giddy. Okay, then. I think we got that. Yeah, we got that. Because yeah. that's Giannis. That's Giannis and his brothers, but we got that. Not, 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 not say. This is what I will say. I, I do like Cavaliers in this as well because of Garland, but don't sleep on the rookies. Mm-hmm. K. Cunningham mm-hmm. is legit. He is legit. He can, he can handle the ball. No, never mind. Go ahead. He can handle the ball. He can pass. And he can get to the rack. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the skills challenge, you got to be able to move with the ball fast. The you got to be able to pass the ball pass accurately. The ball. And you got to be able to shoot. Now, Jerry Allen, Evan, Evan Mobley can shoot a little bit. But it's like, bro, I don't know. Like, I, I'm going to roll with the Cavs. If you're a betting man, the Cavs is plus 200. After the Kobo is plus three twenty. Now the rookies is is negative one twenty five. Y'all trying to make some money? Put it on the rookies. Y'all trying to make some money? The rookies may 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 show up. Y'all trying to make some money? Sports betting, DraftKings. Roll with the rookies. I might roll with the rookies tonight myself. Might might roll with the rookies tonight myself. Yeah, wins come up. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always come up. And shots to Cleveland does too. Y'all holding it down. Shots to the Cavs. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Shout shout to the Cavs, man. Third best team in the motherfucking East. See, the host of the motherfucking All Star game. You got Evan Mobley out there doing his thing and shit last night, nigga. Darius Garland in the cut. Chilling Colin Sexton in the cut. Niggas out here turned up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, man. And six man of the year. Six man of the year. I ain't see, I ain't see, I ain't see the six man of the year in the building last night. Dunk Contest 2022. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not that. Three point contest 2022. All right, we good, bro. Don't, don't, don't worry right. about the stats. We, you know what I'm saying? We, we gang gang. You know what mm. I'm saying? We gang gang. We gang gang, bro. All right. Now, 
when we brought this up last week, it's a lot of um, it's a lot of first timers in this three point contest. Mm hmm. All right. Cat. For starters. You know, why the fuck is Cat in the three point <laughs> They got Patty Mills in there, too. Why the fuck is Cat. Like, at the end of the day, that's the only person that I just still don't understand. Like, why the fuck is Cat at the end of the three point contest? Because he's the shooting center. That's what he is. Man, he, he, he get shot. He get, he get the ball pad. He, he shoot shots off the top of the key and, and coming down and coming down on transition. Man, he ain't going to be able to. Cat is going to be big ass cat that's doing this shit. He ain't, he ain't Dirk Nowitzki, bro. No. <laughs> like, Cat, man, ain't, man, he ain't Dirk Nowitzki, bro. Like, what's to this nigga, bro? Oh, yeah, and also, man, at the motherfucking um, Convocation Center tonight, HBCU Classic, Morgan State versus Howard. You know what I'm saying? They still got tickets available for that. You know what I'm saying? I think the tickets like $20. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And if y'all want to, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to kick it. You know what I'm saying? Be around, y'all, y'all turn up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, so, like, I think only two of these people done participated before. Yeah, all the, people, the majority of these people first timers. Uh, Levine and Carl McCollum are the only ones I know that. They're man, I'm, I'm, but I made rub, I made rub with Van Fleet though. I made rub with Van Fleet. I made rub with Van Fleet. Patty Mills like way live. I feel like being crazy. Desmond Bain is kind of live too, but the way Desmond Bain was shooting last night, I think he's gonna still be shooting a little hard, a little got the jitters in him. What shit. about CJ? CJ McCollum. You can talk about the um, but he been balling since he been over there. And, um, and, yeah, and Pelican McCullough. Yeah, it's Pelican McCullough. He been balling though. He been averaging about like twenty five past five games. He been great. Yeah, he calm. He calm. Uh, I'm gonna say. But uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm gonna roll with probably Van Fleet. This is gonna be the person I roll it with. My dark horse will probably be Lillard. Uh, Luke Lenard. Luke Clenard is the dark horse. He could get hot. Now. I see Trey Young in this before Trey Young. He can't. I don't know. Trey Young, man. I don't know, man. Quavo, them niggas gonna be in the building. I don't know, man. Ice Trey might go. He might go Ice Trey tonight. He may go Ice Trey. I really would love to see him go Ice Trey tonight. I'm gonna go with CJ. You wrote with CJ. I wrote with Van Fleet. You know what I'm saying? Dark Horse Luke, but I would like, but I would buy Zay Trey Young with this bitch, though. I would buy it. My dark horse, I don't know, <coughs> Patty Mills. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll probably say Zach or, uh, and but, I want to say Bane. But, 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 why, but see, at the end of the day, why niggas say Zach Levine? Why Zach Levine? Because I ain't seen... Uh, he's not a three-point shooter. He's not a three-point shooter. But if he, like, because I ain't seen Zach, like, he don't chuck a three. He don't shoot a three. But if he want to do that, and it's not in the same it's not in the same vein as Carl Anthony Towns coming up to do this, I think that he believe he got the shot for it. Because I didn't see it happen like, before. Zach Levine shoot like 40% for the three this year. But I, I just like I don't know like that's another that's another player. This a, he he's more of an end game shooter than a than a than yeah, a event a shooter, than shooter. an event shooter to me. Zach Levine, you know, I like Zach though. I like Zach a lot. Zach Levine gonna have to really step it up a little bit more too. If they think that the Bulls gonna do what the Bulls, you know, they think the Bulls yeah. gonna do. So yeah, if I if I pick anybody out of the list, it'd probably be Zach or Zanar. That's is it because of the name? Mm-hmm. Is it because of the name? That's fair. Get him in the chat. That's fair. All right, then we ended off with this dunk contest. You know what I'm saying? Cole Anthony, Jada Green, Obi Toppin, and Juan Kassan. K- K- T- Damn, Juan Anderson. Um, real talk, I want you to do something quick, man. What's up? All right. Switch out of this mm-hmm. and go to the dunk contest. Mm-hmm. Now, 
Cause this is a question. Will the duck, is the dunk contest gonna be a success this season, or are we gonna be underwhelmed yet again? We've been underwhelmed, minus the duel between Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon, maybe a few years that back. Was cheap. But that was one of the better ones in it the was, past ten years. That was great, years. but that was a cheat. That was, yeah. that was, that was, that was a. How was that a cheat? Didn't he do the same dunk that the other nigga did? Yeah, How you gonna beat him with the same dunk? dunk? Man, them niggas was going back and forth, done for done. They did. They had like a three. They had like a three, three dunk off. They had like a three round dunk off. For real, for real. Like what? What you think gonna happen after them niggas did? Them niggas did. Both them niggas did about ten dunks. That was like they said that was the most dunks by by contestants since like Dominique Wilkins and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had two of the most. They had the most fifties. And, and, and then they dunk. It dunk. Contest history, I think. That's true. That's, that's true. one of the best dunk contests, like in my lifetime, yeah. that I can remember. I'm gonna be honest, that's one of the better dunk contests I've seen. It holds up because I've watched Michael Jordan and Dominique mm-hmm. just fight it out. I didn't see the Cedric Sabalas and the before they start gimmicking and jumping off of cars and stuff like that. All the stuff that you could possibly think. Yeah. Well, all of the <coughs> stuff that y'all would consider cornball dunks. Now, was lit back then. Was lit back then. Yeah. And they still could. I still like But the difference, what I would have to say, is some of them dunks, even though they were dunks that anybody could do, these were, the, Michael Jordan and Dominique were doing dunks. Effortlessly. No, they were doing dunks that they were doing on niggas in games. Yeah. It's different between seeing somebody come down and throw the ball up under their legs to get a dunk. But when Dominique was coming down, Tomahawk and <laughs> Windmill and, he was doing this on folks. These dunks you've seen them do, it's around the D Brown where they start doing the blindfolds and the it yeah. start being we gonna have to go over, over, cause as far as the reason Dominique's dunks and Michael's dunks look good is because they were doing them on people. Yeah. So they was like Ooh. right. So people people was used to seeing Dominique. I'm saying he was bringing that motherfucker wiping his shoes with that bitch. So it felt like a trophy when you see him do it. Oh, yeah, that's how he do it. Yeah. All right. So with all that being said, mm. over and under. And this is the over and under. Okay. Over or under. How many ducks will be missed tonight? Out of to five. Over or under five. Miss ducks. From all of these people combined, it's gonna be five. It's gonna be more than five. It's gonna be you going over. Yeah. Tell you, go ahead, DraftKings. Go DraftKings right now. Go DraftKings right now, man. Bet that, man. Bet that. Uh, bet don't miss dunks. I, I'm, I'm gonna go with over as well. But, but this is the thing. Creativity is gonna win this shit. And 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 I like Jada Green. Dark horse court. A dark horse is cold, is cold Anthony. Because those two niggas on 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 these two, is gonna be way more creative than the other two. Mm. I can see that. Yeah. 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 Topping it and topping. I, I I like. Top can really jump. I'm I'm trying to figure out what 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 is he gonna do. Is he gonna try to reenact the white hot? What are you gonna do? How is it the cop book? You wanna know what's up crazy? Who? Hold on. Yes, you know, ain't nobody done tried to do that dunk since it looked like that dunk too. Dunk contest yeah, nineteen ninety seven. Some people could get a dunk feet contest on that nineteen ninety seven. But it's a whole different thing when you got a ball. That 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 means that's Hmm. What's up? Hmm. Alright, you got to get up. Hmm. Mm. Jada Green definitely going to win this shit. Maybe. He from LA too, you know that, don't you? What does that have to do with it? What's Prince Rest of China? 1997. Dunk Contest was here in Cleveland, Ohio. Mm hmm. Yeah. Pull up on that Dunk Contest, that's. Alright. Just so, just so niggas can know where I'm coming from. And if y'all niggas know sports, like I know sports, y'all know where I'm coming. Y'all know where I'm going. 
He gonna do it for Kyle. He, he no, but he but Jenna Green is a rookie. Kobe Bryant won that dunk contest. That was his rookie year. He was a rookie. He won that motherfucker, bro. Kobe. Rookie year. And that was the first, and that was like one of the last dunk contests until they brought that shit back. Yeah. 97 was one of the last dunk contests before they brought that shit back because they started doing other shit. As you can see, look, WNBA, NBA, two ball comp. comp. Yeah. They, 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 they bring that shit back for like another five years. What are you trying to see what was in it? The duck I said was good in the rally. Yeah, I'm trying to see it. Ray Allen, Coach Bryant, Chris Carr. It's going to kill me. But see, that's why Ray Allen was one of my favorite players. Yeah, time. Ray Allen, Chris Carr, Coach Bryant. That's why Ray Allen was one of my Michael Finley. <laughs> Michael Bobby Finley. Bobby Sturrup. Oh, DeVar yeah. Hamm. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby Sturrus. Oh! Darvin Ham. Yeah, Darvin Ham. Yeah, Darvin Ham. Darvin Ham. Darvin Ham. I seen him jump out of a crowd when he was in college. I thought he was going to be that nigga. The crowd jumped. He jumped. The crowd started coming down. He was still, he was still going up. When he came back down, he came back down with the rim. They was getting blown out. That dunk, I mean, it, it broke that other team wheel because he called all of them niggas down there. Ooh. And they, it was getting blown out. And they lost. The team fuck around and lost. They was blowing them niggas I'm out. I'm telling you, you could go there. They had a dunk contest. They had a dunk contest for like another day to five years. I think he did that jump and put his hand on the um, top of the, yeah. the top of the back. Dude, Kobe was out here. It was out here full of Kobe was out here acting the fool. Kobe was out here acting the fool. The downtown was lit. Yeah, super lit then. I was a kid then. I ain't even been hip. But this shit was lit. I was on a little vacation down there. Jada Green, man. Do that shit for Kobe tonight, bro. Yeah. I was with Jada Green, man. Do that shit for Kobe. On the game, bro. I do that really shit know. for Kobe. And, and, and y'all niggas, and I swear to God, niggas, better shout out. This nigga Kobe, DJ Khaled, you hosted this goddamn All-Star Saturday. Y'all better have a tribute to Kobe Bryant tonight before this dunk contest because that was one of his own, that was his only, that was the one he won. That was the only one he won, right? Yeah. That was the only one he won. That was on his rookie year. We still miss Kobe. Kobe Bryant is a legend. He is a staple in the NBA community. Show love to my nigga Kobe. <laughs> and, 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 and you like her, and, and, and on the side. You motherfucking Lakers, Anthony Davis, nigga, you know what, bro? A A D, bro. I, I I came over here last year, I mean last week, and I said that that shit is a failure, right? I'm gonna take it a step further. Y'all looking weak. <laughs> By the time LeBron James, no, 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 it's not Anthony Davis' fault, right? You don't know who fault it is. Who's, it's a collection. And, and see, at the end of the day, what pisses me off about this LeBron shit is people put all the, the heat to these LeBron, to the, to LeBron for all these moves and trades that he made in his career. When at the end of the day, the reason why Michael won all those years was when Michael came to my, went to the motherfucking GM and said, hey man, I, I want you to draft this dude. What did he tell Michael? You play I, no, you play, I, I do this. You, yeah. you, you the best basketball player. This is what I do. LeBron James easily influences so many of these GMs. And it could go like David Griffin. Or it could go like I was going for Rob Pelinka. Ooh. Where is up? Where you up? And they can say that damn shit was a fluke. The damn, the damn ring was a fluke. Right? But you up. 
You get praise for that. You come back the next year, still one of the best defensive teams in the league. But you can't score. Now you now you can score, but you can't play don't defense. Play, don't play defense. So it's like who so you can blame LeBron for wanting to play with Russ and wanting to bring Melo in and help Melo get a ring in. Wanting to bring a lot of the veteran players in. That's what he does. He's been doing that his whole career. So I'm not really upset with that aspect of it. But Anthony Davis, though. You're moving mad, fam. I, 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 I don't know. It, it, it's Kyrie-ish to me. Is, is that the effect when LeBron leave on people? That's but how is, but, 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 but see, how is LeBron responsible for how responsible, but no, 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 furthermore, how is LeBron responsible for Anthony Davis not taking care of his body and not and not preventing himself from from these these knick knack injuries that he's been having his whole entire career. Same thing with Kyrie. See, the problem with Kyrie is availability. It's never productivity. But Anthony Davis. Is a but 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 Anthony Davis. If you really think about it, it's really not really productivity either. And, the reason, and here's why. Availability. Yeah, that it's too. But, but listen, but listen. It was a game last week against the Trailblazers where they lost. Mm -hmm. Anthony Davis had 17 points, right? Yeah. But he was 7 for 8 for the field, though. Okay. Every time he took a shot, he hit a shot. How could I be mad at that? He needed to be more aggressive, shoot more shots, I guess. But, I mean. I guess that's consistent. Like, I, I just don't get it, bro. Like, like I said do it for Kobe. That's the reason why we're here. Like, the Lakers, y'all a mess. Y'all a mess. Y'all went hard that year once Kobe died. Y'all won that ring for Kobe. I, I, I really admit to that. When, when Kobe died, I was like, damn, that was fucked up. But then in my head, I'm like, man, I think the Lakers fuck around with it just because of that. If anything else, I don't know. Something else might happen. But I think for, just for that alone, they're going to win it. They won it. Now you win it, you think you won already. Like, no, the Kobe show was the first show we just did a show where we didn't really even do no show. We just streamed. Like, we just ran the Kobe stream. That was for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Kobe highlights the whole nine. Because he a great. He a legend. Awesome. And, and LeBron James going there it has something to do with Kobe. It has something to do with Kobe. Not like Kobe physically telling him to do it, but it has something to do with Kobe. The mystique, the whole nine. They're going to have to get it together. They're probably going to be in the play-in, lock, locked in. Um, every any team under the Lakers, <laughs> they don't have no shot. <laughs> every team under the Lakers has no entire shot. Trailblazers, Kings, Houston, Pelicans. Get them all out of here. They have no chance. So the Lakers done. It's ninth. And tenth is the Trailblazers. So they had ruined like three, four teams. Trying they, to build their team. They didn't really ruin this team. Ruin whose team? Whose team got ruined? They didn't ruin the Pelicans. Wait, whose team got ruined, Sachs? Talking about, like, people they didn't pick up. But whose teams got ruined for these pickups? Wait, I just want to hear. Who, whose teams? What teams? Who's Which one? Say Houston? You want to say Houston? I what? guess. Malik Monk came from the uh, from the Hornets. They don't think they're doing that bad. Yeah, they ain't doing that bad. They 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 still what six in the East, right? Yeah. So only um, Trevor Ariza was a sign last year. Carmelo Anthony was on the Trailblazers. You see, you know what I'm saying? The Trailblazers yeah. don't really ain't maybe missing that. Um, Dwight Howard's with the Sixers. You see, them with the Sixers, they still like fourth in the East. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So. Oh, well, I don't really, I don't really understand that aspect of it. But what I do get is the fact of them ruining their team to try to do what exactly. Um, that's why. Um, yeah, everybody ranks. Make see, money, buddy. But see, that's the thing that that did a shooter pick up. It's kind of like was kind of like fool's gold. And, and here's why: because I feel like you get this shooter, and you think anybody better than did a shooter go get the job done. Instead of really getting somebody that can help get the job done. And, like, we all know that Russell Westbrook better than Dennis Schroeder. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, but. Yeah. I 
I mean, hands down better than Schroeder, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but, 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 Russell Westbrook, but just the way they got it right now, like, Rob Palenka, the coach, all them niggas on, 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 on high alert. Oh, they all on high alert, bro. <laughs> Every single one of them niggas. But um, this dunk contest gonna be lit tonight. Saturday night gonna be lit. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely gonna be at my nigga Thero House. This is birthday. I said it before the beginning again. Happy birthday, my G. I'm definitely gonna watch the um that shit over his crib. Probably sip on a little Trizon, a couple of Strizipes, you know what I'm saying? Low key OG, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? May go live and some crazy shit going on. May go live on the page. But, um, all right. Yeah, if I get into some, of course, you know I'm gonna go live on the page. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, 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 let's just go with, let's just get into this shit, right? Hold on. We're about to change from sports to basketball. Like, for, he, he, I mean, at the end of the day, what you, 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 we still wanna. All right, all right, you know what? No, I won't say. All right, you know what? You know what? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Who is the MVP in the league right now? For the year? For the year. Right now, who is in the league to get the MVP this year, right? now? Who is in the league? Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid? But if you ask me, if, was, if this was a month ago, I would have Right now, I probably would go back to my boy. Yeah. the hood. Yeah. But. Now that's having a better year than DeMar DeRozan? No. That's why I say, if you ask me, if I say by the numbers, I say Joel and B. But, but, but then Joel and B is having one of the better years, but Joker is having a good year, too. As you. Cause, cause they, cause, 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 cause Philly is like third. I think Philly is like third right now. Pull up the standards though. That's true. That's what we need to look at. Pull up the standards. Like, I mean, you already know. Fuck that team, LeBron, team Durant. You know it's Brown four in a row. You already know. Ever since they put, they should never did that format shit. They should never switch that shit up. It's gonna be team LeBron forever. It's gonna be team LeBron for ten straight years. LeBron gonna retire. Team LeBron. They gonna, they gonna have LeBron's. They gonna have uh, the Sixers is third. Yeah, they just slid ahead of the cash. We four for the Bucks. Because we lost to them last week. And we got there. We tied with the Bucks. Same record, right? Okay. Duh. Oh, so we four? 36, 24. We get 35, 23. But look, there yeah, it is. the same record. Look at that. I mean, it's the same record. It's, it's all because it's really, you know what I'm saying? Because if they lose it, yeah, it's a game. All, all three of us. So it all depends on who wins. Win between. Yeah, going to be in a spot. Gonna switch. Yeah. So it really matters. Two who. teams win. The one person gonna drop to the bottom no matter who. Yeah. So. Damn. Oh, shout out to um, shout out to the Boston Celtics. They've been looking better at, at recently. Oh yeah. Shout out to Boston. Last time we did it, it was like ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've been looking better recently. Yeah, it's nice, and they and they, they, they five games back. Just about. I guess this is the NBA though. But shout out to the Cavs. Still been better. Cavs still better. They still better. They're still two spots up. Mm-hmm. Then it is. I don't know. Love to see it, love to see it. That's good. Love to see it. So, you still ain't giving me no reason why the people you named, they could argue with somebody. Joel and Peter. Well, if. Look at that. You got point, though. But I mean, Joel and B, it's just Joel and B and what, Tobias Harris? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I knew Joel and B, but, but switch over, though. You want to know what I, what I don't know? What? Why can't Chris Parker then? That's a good question. Like, why can't Chris Parker? Because he can't. Look at Chris Paul's numbers. All right. I think that's probably why, huh? And B averaging close to 30, right? Yeah. Hmm. He in this list, I'll be able to click him. Or not. Okay. Yeah, he's in the center of the bride. I mean, you. The two niggas would. It's legitimate argument, but they. I still don't see. Better than, uh, I mean. I mean. I mean, I guess, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't. I can't really knock what you're saying, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really trying to just go 
hard body against it, like you're wrong, you're wrong, blah blah blah. I'm not really trying to do that, but but you, you like you I, I like an argument because. So what happens when James Harden start playing? They might mess around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If they get better, but is it gonna get better though? But is they gonna get better though? There's the, the rest of the regular season, according to James Hart. Uh, All right, the regular season, the regular, uh, regular I know, season. I know, little, I know, little baby in the city and shit. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know what I'm saying. His niggas in the city, James Hart niggas in the city. James Hart chose not to be in the city because they didn't want to be with the wrong Kevin Durant because he know what time it is, nigga. You know what time it is, nigga. You played the fuck out of crazy. You played KD, nigga. You can play Russell Westbrook, Dwight Howard. Chris Paul, you gonna play KD, nigga? 14, 14, yeah. 14 points, 10 assists a game, yeah. and a player expected rating, whatever. He calm. But I'm just saying, though, man, at the end of the day, man, they, like, you gotta get a nigga's credit. He the reason. But he the reason. He, he the reason they only got 10 months. Now, now look at that, man. Look at that Booker numbers. He probably averaged like 21. He should be an all-star. He should be an all-star game. I think he is. He, 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 he is. He made it. I was trying to click on him. They made it, though. Both of them. 25. 5. He's rating better than what's it called? I mean, but the, 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 look at them assists that average assists that that make up for not having 25 points. But, 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 but he averaged in 10 assists. I mean, we've averaged 10 assists pretty much since all their career. Like, Chris Paul is the reason. You feel me? And B, I like it B. But right now, I just go, I'm just waiting to see. I can't really trust it B. But he's not in the top 10. But I like it B and I can't trust it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would want him to win MVP. I would want him to do it, but I don't trust him. He got a good skill set. I just don't trust him, man. I, I can respect that. That's health. Yeah, okay. I, but it's not really the health more so than, than at the end of the day, I don't trust him. I mean, he was, a part, I don't know. he was a part of that meltdown. You know what I'm saying? He contributed to it. But it ain't really about right. I just don't trust him. And then you got two niggas you, I do not trust together. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a problem. Good luck with that shit. Okay. Yeah. Good luck with yeah. that. Good luck. I, okay. I pray for you niggas. I pray for you, for you James Harden fans. Oh, oh this, 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 this pissed me off. Who can they, who, who, who? This pissed me off. Look, outside. What? Points. That, that is, that's upsetting me. What? Because he's doing better than his boy. No, he ain't. Barely, yeah. but, but no, he ain't. But that what, what, what's what, what's upsetting about it? Could be a Giannis fan. He felt like Giannis was way better than everybody. No, but how did it, but, but, no? But, but, I still think it's Kevin Durant lead. Kevin Durant been injured for a whole. Right. Kevin Durant been injured for almost. If you want to put it all together, the past three years he been injured for like a year and a half. Fair point. I, like, man, I'll tell you this, man. If, if, if y'all just get to the finals again this year, it's just late, nigga. I don't want to hear about no Kevin Durant no more. Now, low key, I want to hear about no Kevin Durant after last year. But niggas still talking, so I'm going to let y'all do y'all thing. I, I, that's a good argument. If y'all just win... Giannis will have to win. Giannis gets to the finals again. And he yeah. probably will win, depending on who, who comes out at, at West. Unless it's Golden State. Then, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, but Golden State don't got nobody to stop Giannis. <laughs> and with the wise of it, it's going to be just like last year. <laughs> duck it all on AD. It's going to be duck it all on Wiseman. <laughs> Hell no. All right, man. I guess let's get into this shit. Man. Hold on. Uh, Devin. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, what was happening with your uh, with your, with your school? Y'all oh yeah, the, they did the uh, they brought up um, some street ballers. You know, Harlem Globetrotters. They brought them up to the 
to the bill, played uh, some of the alumni, older older people who used to go to the school, basketball player. It was time for the, uh, that was a fun game, for for real. I used all of that. It was, it was looking like one of them Rodgers Star games. I can't even lie to you. Because they was dunking on each other, throwing up the, what's it called? The crowd was involved. Having the crowd throw it. I used it, bring, bring up the court, had to pull the kid out. Had him throw it up, big bring down. Ooh, behind the back, 360 dunk, whatever they did. They was kind of, they was gone. They was going to call them go for China. That's crazy, man. I don't see yeah. any niggas ever had to that. That mm. nigga, um, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that little flip signed the kid's CD. Yeah. And Kyle was a ninth grade year, nigga. Yeah, that was yeah. all over the city. The whole city probably heard about that. Yeah, that shit was lit. Yeah. And yeah. I got a, uh, got Master a shout P-K, out. Master P came down there, too. Like, I think a couple weeks before that. What you said, what? To, oh, yeah, the Kyle was a year. Oh, that's cool. And I got a sh- uh, shout out from uh, one of the Globe Charters, uh, Nine. I think who? it is. One, he one of the Globe Charters. What's his name? Dime. That's his name. Dime? Dime. That's okay. his name, yeah. Uh, I ain't posting nowhere yet. Cause... Yeah, so later on this week, you know what I'm saying, before next week's show, it's going to be some clips of him and his brother had an adventure. And they, uh, you know, stats want to be part of the show. So his little brother wanted to do something too, so we got something special for y'all. Yeah, yeah. a little bit of, you know, light show. Yeah. Well, that's cool though. I we'll have some clips for the week. That's cool. Yeah. But I ain't gonna hold it though. Y'all just leave, man. Uh, this KD shit, I don't know. I want to hear it, man. You gotta get to the championship. Until you get to the, until you get to the championship without Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, the rest of Westbrook. James Harden, he had all those players to get to the finals. Until he do some shit like Tilly. You know, just crashed. You know what I'm saying? Ben Simmons got to get it in. I know. Just but you, you would, like, so the Super Bowl was last Sunday, though, right? Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that halftime show was savage. We're going to start with that. I mean, this is what I will say. Though. That right? was the best part we, of it. Oh, we going to end with it. That was the best part of the game? Nah. That game was good. Listen, man. <laughs> At, at this at this point, Dave Dirty just need to just try to chill, bro. That was Every time he go hype about some shit, them niggas flame out. He went hype about them sons, them niggas flame out. <laughs> he went hype about the motherfucking bagels, them niggas flame out. It was so much questionable calls. I don't even want to get into the officiating, but I guess that's what you want to get into. So we could do it, but all right. That shit was last I'm Sunday, though. I'm gonna like, keep it all the way one hundred. The officiating was equally on bullshit. I mean, not really, because they were calling shit to the Right. Game. But <laughs> I, I mean, they, I, was letting, they was letting a lot of shit go for both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They was like, I mean, yeah. Play. I mean, yeah. But I mean, it, it, I would yeah. prefer the, the, that for real, for real, for them to officiate like that. And every soup, let, the, let them, we're getting some of these. But. It was a lot of stuff. They, cause them niggas was out there. Holding the jerseys and wrapping them around. I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. You want to know the reason why I was officiating like that? Why? Because after like the second drive for the Rams, that game looked like this about it. That game looked like it had blue out written all over it. OBJ got injured and the game changed. And, and once the game changed, they kind of let the niggas play. Super Bowl wasn't a whole lot of shit. But the touchdown to get Cincinnati in the game, that was a face mask. He raked face mask, grabbed Jalen Ramsey's head, turned it around, caught the ball, ran for the TD. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like you can say tomato, tomato when it comes to these to, to this officiating me. The thing is... They can't protect Joe Burrow. They couldn't protect him all year. And when it was time to protect that nigga, we yeah, needed yeah. to protect him. They can't. They got Aaron Donald, one of the best defensive players yeah. in my generation. It LT was, wasn't was in my no, generation. It wasn't no answer for him. LT wasn't in my generation. Like Reggie Wayne and and and, 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 and Michael Strahan, cats like that. Like they was kind of like at the, I guess the beginning of my like they were they they. 
at the tail end in the beginning of my generation, but my generation, niggas younger than me, his, 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 his people, mm-hmm. Aaron Donald is it right now. Yeah. Aaron Donald is it. There was no answer. No answer. They, 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 they what they were doing to Aaron Donald and that's in the Super Bowl, and I, they three, do that to Aaron Donald a lot. Guess who else get get done like that? The three nigga who people. was the nigga who was ducking all in that motherfucking celebrity game. He get triple teamed every time, every fucking time, nigga. Stop him. You can't. It's hard to stop right. that guy. That's, that's, he's that's big. He's fast. Problem. He can get to you. That causes a problem for teams when they come out. Cause that team came out with a plan to try to contain him. They had schemes and everything to try to contain him, and they didn't mean that. Didn't mean nothing. But after that Super Bowl, I got a hot take for you. I just, that was, you know what I'm saying? I got a real hot take for you. We gonna, I'm starting with the officiating, is that I felt like I would rather see them let them play like that than the ticky-tacky shit. Mm. I feel you. I feel you. But I got a hot take that way. Mm-hmm. Bangles ain't better than the playoffs next year. Just as they break the seal, you think it's a... I don't think they make the playoffs next year. I don't think they... I, don't, I think they do to to any help at their offensive line, and it gets worse. And I think that the Browns... You don't think they're going to put those... Put the listen, to try to I think that the, the Browns is going to make it a play on the quarterback. I think the Ravens are going to be healthy. They're not going to go through as many injuries that they did last year. And Pittsburgh will be good. Don't sleep. They might be rebuilding, right? But the thing that I'm – but their defense is still better than Cincinnati's defense. They offense just ain't shit. I don't know. I'm not saying it's a fluke for Cincinnati. I was trying not to say it the past couple of weeks. After the Super Bowl, I'm still not going to say they just went to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Joe Burrow looked at okay. Uh, Joe Burrow, like I told him, he was going to have a decent, he was going to look good, but he was going to lose. Yeah. And he didn't look great, but he looked it okay. He didn't look bad. Joe Burrow looked like he had some problems. He wasn't really, he, he wasn't really running, running for his life like Pat Holmes was the year prior, but I just don't think they're making the playoffs next year, man. Hot take. Chase Bettis, Gam, whatever. That's a hot take for your ass. I, I don't think so. I'm not subscribing to that. I'm just not subscribing. Maybe I may be off with this. Maybe I may be, you know what I'm saying, prisoner of the moment, whatever you want to call it, but. Anything is possible. I just don't see it. Okay. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is OBJ. Y'all niggas need to stop hating on that man. First of all, y'all Cleveland fans should have knew that that was going to happen. If you're a real Cleveland fan of any Cleveland sport, you should have knew the fuck he was going to win anyway. You shouldn't have played that man like that. Not played him like that as far as he contributed to what happened, but he wasn't the only factor. And that's how shit is now. If y'all don't get along or... Y'all don't have to get along. A person can decide they don't want to play with that team no more. That's how people getting traded in all sports now. Don't be mad at that man for making a power move. And Cleveland will get you a get you something if you ride it out. He rolled out. That's it. People blaming him and blaming that whatever bad connection. When I don't know why people thought that it was supposed to be some connection when we had a run heavy team. No matter how many receivers we get, for real, the Browns have always been a run-heavy team. With the quarterback, got to be able to throw the ball when we need him to throw the ball. With my history of watching the Browns, it was this is not the first time we had two backs, good backs. It's not the second time. It's not the third time. It's not the fourth time. This is our history. That's at least that's what I know. So. Well, I've been saying that shit was just a name. It wasn't going to really fit. I've been saying that from the J. 
And it's like OBJ, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully it is an ACL again. Um, it, it, at this point, man, I ain't trying to even be negative. Retire OBJ. You know what I'm saying? Do something else, man. Like, at this point, like, you know what I'm saying? You may want to have kids. You just got married. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you just had a kid. Yeah, like, for real. Because you, you, you work yourself to come back again and then, you know what I'm saying? Tear something that, up again. Yeah, you to work yourself back. This your this your fourth time in your career coming in a situation where you got to work yourself back into shape, back, back into football form. I just feel like it ain't working. Honestly. This is the next thing. Yeah, that's where it's going on. He goes to 32. Off the ring. He goes to 30. It's not a lot of. It's not a lot of wide receivers that be playing today, like 40, like Tom Brady. Tom Brady just retired too, nigga. So, you feel me? I just said OBJ, shout out to OBJ. He did what he was supposed to do. Yeah. I think you was, a, you, I think I popped up on the live that Sunday, that Sunday. And you know what I'm saying? But I knew it was. He had the OBJ shirt on and everything. Study. He was wild. He was wild out Super Bowl, nigga. Wild out of Super Bowl, nigga. Right. <laughs> it was turned up in Super Bowl, nigga. Look, uh, for real, for real, I'm, you know what really inspired me to make that shirt then? The moment I saw OBJ get on this team, I'm going to keep, and I'm going to say this too. I don't oh, want this to happen. I want him, I want him to get oh, his, okay, get it here. That's what I'm telling you. Just I want to ask the shit like this, when we do, when we, if we're going to be this close. We, I ain't know if you be this close. It's just over you over here. Yeah, you usually over here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what, uh, yeah. what the, for real, and I'm going to say this. I hope the Browns go to the Super Bowl and take Tony Hunter to the Super Bowl because he gonna get a ring too. <coughs> Kareem Hunt. Believe uh, it. If you are, if NFL standards, if you are a great player, you have potential to be somebody. But you, you do some questionable stuff, socially, physically, legally, whatever. Somehow they end up here. And if you get your shit together and take the ass whoopings and the losses and still be respectful and still go out there and get your best, when we trade you to another team, you're going to get something. Yeah. You're going to get something. Respect. And every player, with the exception of one great Cleveland name, left here and got something. saw that shirt. So let me say about the Kareem Hunter. When I when I made that, I made that shirt at the beginning when, when they got it. He just went down and got hurt. So I wasn't slinging. Mm -hmm. So, but I knew then. I mean, I could even roll down. So I told y'all here Kareem, about Kareem Hunter. It, it, I hope we get a Super Bowl here. But, uh, on everything. He gonna get one too. He gonna get one too. Kareem Hunt. Yeah. He got into some questionable shit. Here. He making up for it. He ain't been in no trouble. He been he he been running niggas the fuck off. This nigga stand so weird, man. He covered his face with the bat. Hey, <laughs> too close, nigga. You too close if to the real shit. You gonna turn it over there? You too close to the you, you yeah. you how, you feel, how you feel about OBJ getting his ring? Man, who? Because you was rooting, you was rooting for uh, the Bengals. That I was, that I was. However, that been, that been annoying me. Who oh, annoyed you? OBJ. Why? What do you do? What do you do? You know what I'm saying? To you. I mean, nothing but. You should have known it was going to happen. Well, you ain't I mean, been a sports fan long enough to know. You ain't been a sports fan long enough to know that. Well, I'm not a football history. fan long enough. There's a lot of history with Cleveland. And uh, like some of the stuff. Yeah. What's wrong? 
And some of the stuff, uh, there wasn't no sound. Yeah, that's why I double checked it, because I knew there was no sound for this whole goddamn show. Oh, I ain't heard that song. No, the Insta Live. The yes, Insta, no but that has it. I no song on Facebook this whole entire time. I can rip the what's it called from the, uh, I can rip that from yeah. the, uh, what's it called? We apologize to y'all niggas, man. We're gonna try to put the, um, the audio from Anchor. Yeah, y'all go listen to this. Yeah, you're gonna put the audio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, I'll be able to get y'all that right. It's the least I can do. The okay. least. <laughs> <laughs> the least, dude. Man. <laughs> This nigga said the least I can do. Man, the least I can do is tell what he, is tell y'all back. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Better get what these motherfuckers don't let the nigga. I ain't coming with this shit for the free. I'm gonna be just about to get ate and eat with a motherfucker. Take with them motherfuckers and niggas about the sound, nigga. You, you, you lose my nerves, you ain't ate shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, listen, listen, man. You better keep one of the blueberries up in that bitch. Which one is the blueberry? The one you got in your hand, nigga. That's what the other one is. Well, I'm telling you, nigga, them bitches will be a hit, nigga. The blueberry choice a hit. I ain't gonna roll you. Them bitches a hit. Nah. Them bitches is a hit. I'm doing this hit. They can hear us. Hit. Huh? They they can hear us. They can hear us now. Yeah, they hear us. Okay, well, uh, I'm only eating this donut because you brought them. No, I don't really eat sweets, but uh, my nigga bro, and, and nigga, when I uh, have some cake, I need to get rid of nigga. <laughs> man, apologies to Facebook, man. I know with the group has been growing. The group has been growing and growing and growing, and I hate shit like this. Fuck up with the professionalism. I mean, everybody has business. But we got backup plans. <laughs> So as soon as that anchor shit saved, nigga, that shit will be on Facebook. I'll put that shit on my motherfucking page. Shout out to Instagram, too. Shout out to y'all cats rock with us on Instagram. Um, Shout out to DJ for catching it. I'm still, still throwing, you know what I'm saying? Still throwing prayer requests out and shit. Which one of these niggas would have been if they niggas watch the show? Wish somebody would have said we had a motherfucking sound. We about to go off and shit. We've been off within an hour and a half and shit. We ain't had no sound. That's the whole show. See, but that be the thing. The, um... People on IG ain't watching it on Facebook. <laughs> Duh, <nigga. laughs> But you can, but I can send a link through Instagram to their Facebook and it's going to go to Instagram. Mm-hmm. Because Instagram and Facebook is together. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's they son. That's, that's the son. They together. They, they brothers, dog. So, with that being said, nigga, we're about to outro, nigga. We're going to get that joint off. Hold on, hold on. Keep, keep that Instagram for a little second. It's Facebook shit. You can probably cut this shit off. So we can try to get okay, no, Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, what you want to do? He got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cut off, hold on, yeah. But alright, man, we're gonna, I'll try to just cut the shit off, man. We'll be with y'all niggas next week for the show, man. Hopefully, if you had the sound on, this yeah. shit, the whole show. Don't, don't do shit that Instagram yet. Keep that Instagram, bro, for a hot little second. Make sure this Facebook cool. Alright, IG, man, we're gonna get with y'all. Um, for real, for real. I'll tell y'all this. Warriors and Six. That man really shout, out, shout out to the Instagram family. We about to start doing something for y'all too. Because, you know, we been fucking with the Facebook heavy. So, what we going to do is this. Um, I got to, I'm about to, me and Dave about to chop it up and shit. About to get back on this motherfucker. Um, Instagram. Instagram. On my phone. And I'm about to start posting certain, like, let's say, like, Certain like answers to questions, right? Some shit like that. And um, if y'all remember this shit, and if I, uh, you know, say, 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 if y'all remember it, send y'all a message like a week later. Might send y'all like get y'all a t shirt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I know the people who've been watching on a regular basis on here too. Um, we gonna get y'all some shirts. And um, and that's some real shit though, dang. You owe my girl a shirt, nigga. Cause she won the shirt at the damn what's the name the damn we was at the brown shit for the motherfucker when we had Stacy with us you ain't get she ain't even have her size man yeah I do want her shirt you my girl's shirt man nah. she said she do want her shirt since so we gonna do <laughs> for IG like I think we gonna start tapping in 
Yeah, I'm saying a little more to them. The reason we mess with the the visual part is for Facebook. They mm -hmm. let us tweak and tw do all that other stuff. But IG don't really let us do that. They don't let us have control like we do on the Facebook. We still in there? Yeah, y'all is. Okay. You talking but, about stuff? Shit, since we ain't got the control of that, we got control over other shit. He gonna be asking questions. If you see me on IG, I'm popping up on somebody and I'm asking you a question on the spot. So, you know what it is. You see me out there, holler at your boy. Yeah, man, you already know, man. The Post Podcast 2022 and beyond. We don't got no outro, we just cut the shit off and shit. He gonna hit that button after he do what he gotta do, nigga. And uh, we gonna get with y'all, nigga. Um, the whole show is coming soon.